My name is Gregory Hamilton, and this is the Highway to Heaven in 88 Steps. And today is day 80 of doing the same thing every day if we just keep asking ourselves, what is it that I want to do with my God-given life? And what is it that God would want me to do with my God-given life? And when we keep doing stuff the same thing every single day, it seems like it can get very monotonous. And life has a way of doing that to us. It sneaks up on us and has scenarios that will keep us in that feeling of it's never going to change. It's the same thing day after day after day. And those are the kind of the things that we're trying to keep aware of and keep away from so that we don't sit on a couch and keep flipping the channels because when we get tired, we want the easy street, we want the easy big gulp, the bigger couch. And it's up to us to be able to find that inner strength, to be able to fight the ball, the bah humbugs, the depressions, the, you, those thoughts that come in because it's not external things, correct? That make us feel those ways and we all feel those things those are there and designed for us for our benefit you know they're there for our lessons a lot of times we think a lot of things that happen to us bad are bad mm -hmm. but let's go back to our childhood huh you know don't touch the hot stove don't touch the hot stove ah you get spanked but then finally they just say, hey, touch the hot stove. And we did. We had to touch the hot stove. It was a lesson and it hurt and we got mad at them. But it was because we didn't listen. And we usually don't listen to ourselves until we train ourselves to do that kind of thought process, that type of work. It's the luxury of consciousness, again. When we go in our, after this rat race, if we don't have a goal, if we don't realize that everything that we're doing throughout the day is for an intention and a focus and a goal, then it is a Groundhog Day. It is the same thing every single day. And we will blame others for our situation. And how do we blame people for our situations? Well, most of us have went and begged somebody for a job. Please hire me. Oh, I'll be so good. I'll be the best employee you've ever had. And then after six months, a year, or whatever the case is, being there, we're like, I hate this job. My boss is the worst. I hate this place. But we don't do anything to change it because going out and trying to find a new job is difficult. You already got a job. You already got a paycheck. You've already got a couch and a TV. I'd just rather be happy at the job I hate that I begged for, that I chose. These are one example. You can find a million of them. If you look hard enough, if you do your notebooks. So when, when things are happening in life, when they're tough and they're hard, and it does take us away from our goal and our focus and our intentions, external, you know, we, all those external things that will make us leave our home for weeks at a time or whatever the case is like that. We don't want to, when we get a chance to come back to ourselves and our lives and get things back to semi-normal, whatever that may mean, we don't want to have to start off again and go, okay, now what was that goal again that I wanted to do? Do I still want to even do that? Do I want to do this new thing that I saw while I was over here? No, we want to stay focused. We can still add those things to us, right? We can still add them to our notebook. But we want to keep our focus and our goals solid. You're always allowed to change and add and do whatever. It's your life. But you can't be wishy-washy and never achieve anything. So remember that 
even when things are really rough and tough during your point in your life, there's always that moment in time that you can be studying. And where you do the studying is inside your head. So be consciously aware of happiness and sadness. When we're tired, be aware that we're tired. When we're depressed, be aware of it and, and live in it. Live in it for a moment so that you can understand what is happening. To be a happy and a positive and a cheerful person by ignoring other aspects of your life. Well, we all know what type of people. We see those type of people, right? So nobody is happy all the time. But what you can be is happy and grateful for the experiences that you're going through. I don't know if I was born or and, and stuff, but I know that people look at me and they even sometimes say, you know, how come you're not depressed? And I just am so awe. Uh, and it's really amazed because I'm like, well, I've got everything. And they say, no, 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 you got nothing. And I can't really convince them that, oh man, I got so much so much but you know once again these are the different things I've uh, it all depends on what you're looking for but I've read a few different notebooks and uh, maybe even tried to write a few of my own and I have my own opinions I pray for you, and I pray for America. <laughs>